Hi, Bo here from High Tech Investment and welcome back to the channel where we have a new video ready for you. This is a tutorial. It's a tutorial on the FX Blue, one of the tools that are in here where basically you can copy your individual trades. And there's two different ways of doing this actually with some of the uh, FX Blue tools. One is from one account to another one on your uh, on the same computer and another one is you can basically copy it from one computer to a completely different one and then obviously again using the internet servers whatever it is you have set up this particular tutorial here is going to cover the first section so that means basically the fx blue personal trade copier where we have two programs two accounts running on the same pc or in this particular case we have it on our vps where we are basically going to show you from start to finish where to uh, find these things, how to set them up so that you end up with a complete one to one copy trading option in here. Now, obviously, you can go, OK, why would we have this particular one? Uh, if I already have one copy, why do I need a second one? Well, there's many different reasons, and obviously I cannot cover them all because everybody has individual ways of trading. But if you have an account, that you for some reason think works extremely well and you want to set up a different account but you now want to have it with a different size it could be either you want to have a, an account that is bigger than the main one you had before could also be that you started off with a ten thousand dollar account and you can now only afford a five thousand dollar one you don't really want to mess up the account that you already have that runs quite nicely but then you want to basically copy it over there instead and then basically not do it at one to one, which is obviously an option, but then you would be increasing your risk. Um, you can, of course, if you are, you can even increase the lot factor to one to two. Or for that particular case here, you might want to dial it down to a lot factor of 0.5. And all this is actually uh, adjustable within the FX Blue app in here that we're going to have a look at that means that you have an account with either one or more EAs or it could be your manual trading it could be you working through indicators so and so on it will take whatever trade that you have on one account and then copy it over on the other one almost instantaneous most of our things uh, are working quite well on our VPS we only see uh, less than a second in, in between the two accounts but obviously again it depends on the equipment you're using it de depends on the load that is on the servers and etc etc so obviously you will have to see exactly how it works for you but we have very good experience with this particular one and as you can see you can dial your accounts up and down you don't have to basically dismantle one account in order to now go to a di uh, different one you can simply uh, either upscale or downscale for uh, new accounts and uh, that makes it a whole lot easier. Now there's obviously more intriguing ways of doing all this where basically similar to what we do, for example, on the profit retriever, uh, and we have individual currency pairs trading uh, separately on all the different accounts. But if you then decide that, well, I actually wanna put all of these in one portfolio and then try that on a new account size you can basically combine the individual trades that you already have on those accounts they will continue so there will be no stoppage on that they will continue to trade similar to what they've done before but now that signal will now go to your account number four in this particular case on the picture showing you exactly uh, what you want to do Obviously, these accounts, for example, here, uh, the one, two, and three, we normally set them up with $10,000. And if you now want to have a new $10,000 account in here, you have obviously increased your risk uh, by 300%. Uh, instead of just having one account, you now have three here instead. So obviously, you don't want to be doing that. You want to dial down then the lot factor itself without changing any of the other settings. And basically the way it operates here is that you can then uh, decrease the lot factor. So for example, for your account one, uh, this is the high risk one you have. So you actually want to dial it down to, instead of 0.33, you want to dial it down to 0.25. Account number two you think is working okay. So you basically do uh, a 0.5 on that one. 
And number three, you can have a lot factor of 0.4. So they are basically scalable all the way through. You copy them over there and now you have a fourth account, which again is not directly uh, linked as such uh, in relation to lot sizing. So you have made a new account with new lot sizing and a completely different risk management. So quite interesting ways of doing this. And obviously we're also going to show you exactly how that looks in real time life on an MT4 platform. We have an example here that we did recently where basically we have 10 individual accounts. We gather all these uh, accounts up in a 11th account and all the copying from the 10 other ones are going into this particular one here. And now you have a new set of risk management and completely different way of trading where you can either trade even higher account sizes that the individual had here before. So very intriguing and very exciting, definitely here. And let's get started to exactly see what this tutorial is all about, because we're going to show you here where exactly you can find the details in here. We're also going to show you how to download it. And there's also a small little process for how you're going to register especially also if you registered for the first time. But the process is very simple. It's simply just putting in a username and a password and then an email account and you are basically ready to go. And of course, we're going to show you how to install it on these two different accounts where basically one is going to be the sender and the other one is going to be the receiver. Now, if we use uh, FX Blue, um, simply just put in in the... Uh, Google search field here, and uh, you'll see FX Blue is showing up. You can also see the address if you're interested in that particular one. That's the one you click here, and then you arrive at this particular page. Uh, the first part that we basically go to is go into the app here, and then you have actually a couple of different ones. You can see it actually here. So FX Blue personal trade copier for MT4, you can actually use that one or what we're going to do in this particular case, uh, just so you can see the options in here, go to trading tools, and then you go into the trade copying part. And from there, you can now see the personal trade copier for MT4, MT5 is down here, and then the trade mirror. So this is where you have two different computers set up. If you want to use uh, that particular option instead of having it on the same one, that is the one you have to use here, but we are going for this particular one. And all you have to do is simply just click on it. And after that, you now have to register. Just be uh, aware that the register uh, is for free. So all you have to do here uh, after maybe you have a look at the online user guide. Um, there's a lot of details and information in that particular one here. So I'm not going to cover all the individual aspects of that one. That would be for an entire different uh, video, but uh, simply go and uh, do the free download here. You then get the options. So if you are an existing user, you can basically use one of your FX Blue accounts to log in in order to download the programs here. If you haven't ever done that before, then all you have to do is go to the new user and again, put in your uh, email address and then create a username and password and then do the registration. You will then receive an email uh, in that manner. So, and then get you started. But we have already a username. We have quite a few of them. So uh, let me just add that one in for a sec uh, so we can see how that works. So as we put in the uh, username and password, basically we just click on the login and basically now it says successfully verified. You can now continue to use the wider range of FX Blue service, such as the software downloads. And we click the next one here. And I'll take you back again to where we just were uh, before. And again, you just download the FX Blue trade uh, copier for MT4. And there's the free download in here. So let's click on that particular one. We have it coming up. And then after that, it is simply uh, going to get the program. So with the program now in the download folder, all you have to do here is you can open up the program itself. And uh, if we just put it a bit bigger, you can now see that you have the FX Blue personal trade copier for MG4 setup. You have that particular one here. All you have to do now is basically 
uh, mark it up and then copy it over so that you can now enter it on the computer that you want to actually use. We're going to jump on our VPS and show you from there. So we are now on our VPS here and we have just opened up uh, where we copied over the program to. And all you have to do here is basically allocate the uh, two trading accounts that you want to link together. Uh, we have done one. Uh, it's going to be uh, testing on the money three, IG1. And then uh, the other one, the receiver here, is going to be the FX Blue test account. And all we have to do is open up the program itself. It's going to come up and provide a whole list of other MT4 programs that we already have running. Uh, we are interested in the money tree that is here today. You can see that you can mark up uh, individual ones. You can actually mark up all of them or you can simply uh, remove them. Uh, we are just interested in installing this one in the first place uh, and then show you exactly uh, where to go from here. So mark this one up, click on the install button. It will now tell you the software has successfully installed. Active copies of MailTrade may, be, uh, may need to restart for the change to appear in the navigator and we're going to have a closer look at exactly how that works. So the account looks like this and what we have to do here is just we're going to open up the market watch and we're also going to open up the navigator itself and we're now in the expert advisor you can see the publishers already here and that is because that is what you normally see on our website where you basically have the fx blue down here we are now interested in the copying service so you can either restart the account itself or you right click here and then click refresh you'll then get uh, the uh, copy trading uh, receiver and the sender out here and all you have to do now is put it on a chart and you can put it on any chart you want uh, basically right click again and then open up a chart window you don't necessarily have to make a change here again within the uh, program itself on 15 minutes or anything else like that uh, it can actually be an advantage if you uh, try and put it on a longer time frame so the update is is less annoying for you uh, and then you have two options you can obviously attach to a chart similar to like this we like the drag and drop option on here and what you get is basically the copy sender itself it uh, has to be set up with uh, allow live trading also allow DLL imports, allow imports of external experts, make sure those are on. And now we come to the more exciting part here. And uh, basically the channel is where you indicate what type of uh, signal you have. You have to basically either put in some currency pairs or, you know, uh, certain markings, which makes it easier for you. We can uh, take something like uh, uh, money three, like that, and then one, two, three then we have a good idea of what that is. We need that particular one. On the other one, similar to uh, what you have with individual codes that has to match up. The second part, we don't really move much and you can go and have a closer look at the individual details here. But the second part is the lot size multiplier. So already here on the center side, you can actually either decrease or increase the size that you want to do. Uh, we normally want to move it one to one and then descale it or upscale it on the uh, receiving end. So that way we already know that the sender is already sending out a one to one signal all the time. But you can actually decrease it. Simply uh, go here and then put in 0.5 if that is what you want to, to have in here. Or you go uh, 0.2 if that's uh, uh, an upgrade that you want to do. Uh, we just simply prefer one-to-one uh, -one on that particular one. And after that, it is simply just to click the OK button in here. You will then see that the uh, copier will just gonna basically take off the entire part uh, here and then sending all trades. And it will send that to that particular site that you put on the channel MT123. And when you can see things are working, it says heartbeat sent. Um, so that is an important notice to basically show you, okay, uh, things are moving. So now it's sending, but we are not receiving anything right now. So we have to go to our other test account and uh, find that one. And that means, again, we have to go back here. And once again, we have to open up the uh, program. Let's try that. 
There you go. And then we have to allocate the second one, which is the FX Blue test account that we are using for this particular one. That is the FX Blue test account right here. So again, we simply just mark that individual one up. We click on the install button. Again, it tells us it is now successfully set up. And from there on, we basically just start up the next account and uh, set up the receiving end. So with the receiving account uh, now updated here and open, we uh, once again go to the market watch. We go to the navigator. You'll now see this time around, because we didn't have started the program here before, that it basically automatically loads. And again, as I mentioned, otherwise you can basically refresh and then it will uh, come automatically up. So what we need now to, to do is basically match up the signal that is out there somewhere, but it's not being received. You open up the chart window here. Again, it doesn't really matter with the uh, timeline in here. We have to use the receiver signal this time around. And if we have a look, we can see again, trade copying service, common, make sure that the alive live trading, DLL imports and external experts are all on. And then now for the channel part, you have to match it up. So we used uh, money three and then one, two, three. So that now is basically timing up on synchronizing those two details. And as you can see, there is quite a few things that you can adjust in here on the receiving end. Uh, there's a lot more definitely here that you can use, uh, even allow slipperage, how much you actually want to do. We are not going to go into a lot of details on this particular one. Um, that is not what this tutorial is all about. The important part here in the first place is the uh, lot size um, modes that you can use. So you can use fixed lot size if you want to use something different from, from actually what the original account was all about. But use the risk factor in here. That's the one we want to use. So if you want to descale down, you put in uh, 0.5. If you want to upscale, you can use 0.2, for example. Obviously, you can use both higher and lower amounts on this. In this particular case, we are just doing one to one. Uh, and then from there on, I suggest that you have a look at the manual and see exactly what all these things mean here. At the end of the day, we click OK. And you will now see again here also that we have connection to uh, MT123, the last heartbeat. And that now means that the heartbeat is up and running, it means that it will copy whatever comes from that particular account. I've taken you over to the account that I showed you here in the beginning that was already built up. As you can see here, um, just to show you uh, the individual connections, uh, different uh, numbers and we also have set up just uh, different currency pairs in here and then all of them have the lot size risk factor uh, one so all of them are pretty much set up in the same manner as where they came from and if we just take a look uh, I can just pick this particular trade here that was started off it was started off at 12 and then one second after 12 here on a lot four Aussie Swiss francs, and then the price it was done at was 57,206. So if we go and have a look at that account for a sec and see uh, that one, how it was, it was also one second past 12 here, lot size 0.4, Aussie Swiss francs, and then 57,206. And if we even go further, we can also have a look at the uh, lot size and the take profit in here. So the stop loss is 206 and the take profit is 487. So let's have a look at those two. And again, 206 and 486. So obviously perfect match. And we don't even seem to have a delay in this particular case, but you can have up to a reasonable delay of, of, of around one second. It is almost instantaneous, but obviously things can happen from time to time when you are setting this up. Uh, but basically, you uh, continue to do uh, what I just showed you here and then add new accounts in. Very, very simple. And then you get the information up here that it says it's copying all the symbols because you can also go and exclude some if that is what you want. So that is basically what it looks like. So that is how simple it actually is when you want to actually copy uh, one trade from one platform over to another one in this particular case here for the MT4 platform. As I said, MT5 is similar. And also that is pretty much you have a center, you have a receiver signal. 
Also, if you want to use that by two different computers, again, you simply have to put in a name in order to match and match uh, which ones are going to talk together. So you can call it a password, you can call it a username, whatever it is you want. Um, but once you have done that, you can see the heartbeat is synchronized. Yeah, then your trade should obviously uh, go uh, straight through. But you can always test this out, uh, similar to what we have done here. Set up a couple of demo accounts and then try your skills at matching this up before you take it to real live trading. It is not difficult, but obviously, again, always be aware, always be careful. Make sure that you do things in the right manner. And as I mentioned here, start off a demo account to try your skills out and see if it actually works for you or if you missed a step in this particular tutorial here. We do hope that you enjoyed the uh, tutorial and that you got something again good out of it and maybe a couple of options on how to trade some of your signals uh, in the future. Definitely we like the flexibility that the uh, FX Blue app here gives us in order to both upsize and downsize and basically manage also our risk and mix individual signals in different ways shapes and forms uh, and that can actually be used obviously for your own trading but it can also be used in the future for uh, propriety trading where you are trying to basically match up one account with the best signals you have in there and from there you can basically add in or remove whatever signals you don't really think is working if you don't just want to try one currency pair. So I hope that this uh, tutorial here has been helpful again. Obviously, we would like to hear back from you what you thought about it. So please leave us a comment and a like, and hopefully also give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our future videos where I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.